What's going on gamers? In today's video, we're gonna be going over the best investments that you should be doing right now to make a lot of stubs, thousands and thousands of stubs. If you're new to the channel, go ahead right now. It's free, drop a like on the video. Every 500 views, we should be having 45 to 50 likes. Shout out to all the MVPs. We do got the giveaway currently going. The video is above right now. All you gotta do is comment in the comment section, PlayStation or Xbox, and I will choose two winners, $25. One Xbox, one PlayStation, and we also do giveaways every single month to the MVPs. So without further ado, let's get into today's banger. If you're looking for great gaming services, Head on over to AHMLB and make sure you use code FET for 5% off your order. All right, so the first thing you want to hurry up and do before 12 o'clock Pacific time is finish your tops now if you didn't. Now you have two options. You can either sell all the players, which is going to be 12 to 15 players in order to complete the program or you can go ahead and keep all the players, lock them in, lose the coin value, and just go for the 96 overall Simeon that's coming out later. It's also going to be other cards that's in that same process. So we're going to finish our last solo mission right here, and I'll see y'all on the field. Now, a quick bonus tip for anybody that's struggling at betting. The simplest way to be able to bet better is to do the grip technique. What I mean by that is... Just hold your PCI like this. Then you will have small movements and you won't have to worry about jerking your PCI one way like you do when you are holding it like this. So I'm gonna always try to start low in the zone or in the middle. So before he pitch it, I would drop down a little bit. Boom, that's to the outside right there. All you gotta do is watch the pitcher's hand. If y'all wanna know my PCI setup right now, just let me know in the comment section. Boom, now you can go down to the low balls and you won't drop tremendously. You see that right there? That's a nice hit over the fence and I didn't have to do too much movement. The only thing that you have to concentrate on is your timing. Each one of these tops now is gonna give you three players to choose from. So some of them is going for 12, 15,000 stubs. Also, I'm about to show y'all a bonus real quick. Last night at like midnight, I was on the marketplace and we're gonna look at what I got. So my active orders right here. So I bought all these Paul DeYoungs because he's a Top Snow player. So go ahead in the next two hours and get as many low Top Snow players as you can and make a profit. So I was getting these Ryan McMahons for 6,453. Now, when the next program goes live, all these cards will be 9,000 and higher. Some of them will get up to 13 and 14,000. So that's a quick way to make a lot of stubs. If you can get 10 or 15 of them, or if you just sell all your players, that's going to be an easy 60,000 to 85,000 stubs. All these buy orders that I got in, I'm going to go ahead and cancel them and get all my money back for them. And we're going to look at my stub count, but I had a potential to make about 50,000 stubs last night from doing this in about 10 to 15 minutes. So now we're going to go to completed orders and I did buy him and buy him. So both of these McMahons I bought for 64.53. Now let's go look at McMahon on the marketplace. Okay. So we're going to put it in McMahon. So on the marketplace, I got him for 64.53. He's going for 81.90 right now. So you can see we are up to 212,000. 496 stubs so i can sell both of these right now i got two of them and that's going to be like a 2000 profit so 81 89 73 and then we're going to do 81 89 and then we don't have to worry about it you can just let it go boom both of them will be bought look sell order for ryan mcmahon completed 7370 now let's take a look real quick let's remember so completed orders so I bought the McMahons for 6,453. So that's over a thousand profit. Once we go into our open packs, you got all these right here that are going for good value, 8,000 a pop. If you hold on to them for another hour and a half, people are gonna start going on the market trying to get the cards that they are missing. You can put them up for another two to 3,000. So 88112, and I'm just gonna pick the highest one. So we get that one. And then that one. So we got both of them. So that's 16,000. Then we got these 33, 36, 33, 50. I'm going to pick him. So we got 8, 16, or you can round it up to 17. 
plus this one. So that's 20,000 stubs right there that you can sell right now. So if you see the program go live and it's not a path that you want to take, you can take all your cards, three right here, another three, probably got 10 or 13 of them. Once they go up, inflate another 1,000 to 2,000, you will walk away with about 100,000 plus stubs just by grinding your solos, just by playing the game. Not having to spend any money just by playing the game. If y'all enjoy these tips and this breakdown, go ahead, drop a like on the video. Go get them stubs, man. I want to see all y'all get 100,000 more stubs than you had yesterday. It's all love. If y'all rocking with me, MVP, let me know in the comment section and I got y'all.